you guys know how I love custom cars. And I drive back and forth from Dallas to Las Vegas every couple of weeks, and I go down I-40 and in Santa Rosa, New Mexico. If you go off, uh, off of I-40 onto the business I-40, you'll find this cool little hot rod shop. This is the Route 66 Car Museum. It only costs like five bucks to go through this thing. There's over 30 something cool cars in there. It only takes a minute to run through there. They've got a little cafe and a gift shop in there. And uh, it, it's a cool little place to stop for just a second. It's right next to the Love Truck Stop. So if you're gonna stop and fill up and grab something to eat or whatever, uh, they got a couple of nice hotels nearby. So it's a good place to stop. Hey, come by and check it out. Let's go inside and take a look at some of the cool cars. Putting together a little cafe in here. It's nice. Looks like I use the front of a Bel Air for these magnets. That's pretty cool. That's the, that's the register. That's great. Oh my gosh. I have this exact record player at my house. This is a star wind-up phonograph. There's supposed to be a fabric here. The winder goes there. I have this exact same model at my house. Crazy. Oh wow, a wicker Harley. Okay. So I haven't been through here yet, so I don't know what I'm going to see. So you're going to discover it along with me. Love this 60s. Uh, the, the, what year is this? This is a, this Buick. It's a 57. It's a hard top. Too many doors, though. I'm more interested in this Grand Prix. Holy crap, I love this thing. It's black with red pinstriping. Hmm. This was a great era of cars. Some people will disagree with me, but look at the ass of this car. Isn't that something? I like that. Here we've got ourselves a little hot rod coupe. I am not a car expert, by the way, so... Uh, you know, I'm looking uh, some of the stuff. I know what it is and other stuff. I don't Got a woody over here My buddy Hoobie has one of those and it's for sale. It's 80,000 firm a firm woody <laughs> Couple of Mustangs here You know how much I hate Mustangs. I like the old ones. Okay. I just don't like the new ones. Oh, here's a neoclassic uh, This is called a gazelle. I believe yeah, it is. It is a Gazelle. I've, I've actually always wanted one of these. It's basically a uh, Volkswagen, but and it's a kit car, and they're just really cool. I mean, they were cheap. They were fun. They're called Neo Classics. Here you got a nice, cool little uh, Corvette. I'm hoping that music doesn't set off my algorithm there. Now this I like. Got Foose wheels. This is a nice. These are the. This is the one era of Mustangs that I really like that I thought was cool. This car's got some patina on it. Patina, I used to date her in high school. Whoa! Look at this. This thing is sick. Oh my God. Now this thing is badass. I wonder what's under there. It looks like it's probably just a, sh like a Chevy Dooley of some kind. It's been stretched. It says it's for sale. That's a cool hauler. Now this is badass. Wow. No hitch though. Damn it. Now this one's got a hitch. Nice custom bed done on this thing. Hmm. It's a nice truck. I'm trying to get away from these people over here. Wow, that's cool. I like police cars. Pretty neat collection, you know. Charging five bucks to get in here. And uh, it's not the greatest car collection in the world, you know, it's it's just, I don't know how much money they're really making out of here. But uh, I, got, I, I think what they're doing is they're selling cars. This Mercury, look at this thing. Cars is Chevrolet, what is this? Yeah, no, it's a Buick, I'm sorry, Buick. I apologize to the Mercury fans. Like I said, I'm not an old car expert. I just know I like stuff. Oh look, a hot rod with flames. How original. Pretty awesome though. But the Z is getting a lot of attention here lately. This thing is probably doing really well. 
79 Dotson 280Z straight six manual four speed with the original tan interior. Here's an Impala. Wow, 55 grand. Everything's for sale. This red car, this, this is a, uh, this is pretty cool. I like, I like these kind of retro Presto mods. Those are cool. Let's see what I'm missing over here. A couple of trucks. I never was a big truck dude. I wasn't that much into trucks. But, um, and, I, and I've never been a fan of turquoise. I have a friend and she, that her, that she that's her thing. She loves turquoise. Now, what is this color? Jesus. It's like, and the interior matches. This is a odd, uh, an odd it's, it's a crossfire injection too. Jesus. Worst engine ever made. It's like a 305. Not great. So I'm guessing this is what a 1980. I don't know my Corvettes exactly, but huh. what it says. So anyway, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much the whole place. Damn! I hope I didn't have my finger in there the whole time. Oh, shit. I was so busy looking at this Grand Prix I didn't notice that they had put an LS swap in it and it's really nice the Corvette covers on it but this thing hauls ass see this is a cool type of resto mod because you get to enjoy this cool 70s car with a modern engine that just fires right up it has good air conditioning and this thing's a hot rod too I mean I would drive this every day I love this car mm gorgeous look at the size of that it's like a four row radiator that thing is ready for the desert that thing is gigantic double fans check out the giant petcock valve on this radiator wow interesting this is about the engine i want to put into the 59 cadillac that we're building right now I want to set it up like this. Not for speed, just for reliability and power. Look at this, uh, I've never seen this before, this quick release compressor. You just change a belt out. I, I've never seen that before. I'm a new, I'm new. It's pretty interesting. Hmm, there's a couple of things I'm seeing on this motor I haven't seen, this giant, this big catch can. This is really well done actually. I mean, it looks kind of dirty, but it's because they use it. Hmm. I'm sure the comments are on fire right now. <laughs> Dual glass. I can't tell if all this stuff is for sale or if it's all just decoration. I think it's for sale. Yeah, there's a fine line between having a store and being a hoarder. And I think that's what's ha starting to happen here. You know, like just like, hey, where are we gonna put that exercise machine? I just stick it in the store over there in the corner. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, okay. It's kind of cool because I've always been into taxis. I love checkers, you know. This is a Dodge, but uh, it's still a taxi. I don't know if it started off as a taxi or they just did this to it. It's pretty cool. This is funny. They took this Edsel and made it look like a, a snowplow or something like that. I don't think it, it doesn't actually function, but it was a funny idea. It says it's powered by propane. It might be. So they did something weird to it. It's sort of like, it's sort of back to the future kind of looking, you know. Oh, I see, they made it into a backhoe as well. That's funny. Even though it's not an actual working thing, it was just something they made out of the car that's interesting. The Edsel was not a very well-received car when it came out, so, you know. 
they did things like that. They got a bunch of cars just sitting around here that are probably gonna do something with, you know, there's another Edsel. That's a wagon actually. That's actually pretty awesome if that was redone. You know how I love station wagons. I was, say. They were, I was talking to the nice lady there that runs the place and she was talking about how all the people come from other countries to see these cars. And uh, you know they get a lot of they get a lot of business. Just look for this yellow hot rod sitting on top of the pole outside the building when you see that you look over here and you'll see it's the route 66 car museum For five bucks all right guys that's it hey that's my visit to the uh i guess it's called the route 66 car museum in santa rosa new mexico right off of i-40 come on and check it out tell them video bob sent you it's only a couple of bucks. They're opening up a cafe in there. They're always changing cars, they said. So if you see this video like way into the future, uh, there may be different cars in there when you go in. But hey, go check it out. Thanks for watching. I'm Video Bob. <laughs>